For those of us who aren't blessed with x-ray vision or just 20-20 vision, we get to rock some serious statement lenses, aka glasses. Glasses come in all different shapes, colors, sizes, and materials, so how do you know which one suits you best? We all know that glasses should enhance your face, so here's a guide on how to find the right glasses for your face shape. Seasons know so well. First, look in the mirror, and with your lipstick or eyeliner, and don't forget to pull your hair back, I kind of forgot to do it here, outline the shape of your face. Oh, and don't forget to wipe down the mirror when you're done. My favorite way to get squeaky clean mirrors is spraying a little bit of glass cleaner and wiping it down with good old-fashioned newspaper. And once you've outlined your face, step away and study the shape you just drew. So, what's your face shape? Is it rectangle, oval, diamond, oblong, square, round, heart? Once you've figured out your face shape, then comes the fun part, finding the right frames for your face shape. Let's say you have full cheeks, a soft chin line, and forehead. Proportional in width and length, my dear, you are the adorable circle. To help add definition to your face, look for glasses with strong angular shapes or rectangular frames. So try to avoid circular glasses, like something Harry Potter would rock. You have a strong jaw and broad forehead, proportional in width and length. My dear, you are a square. Your face shape, not personality. Believe it or not, your face shape is very high fashion. A gorgeous strong face shape like yours will appreciate glasses that are softer and rounder. Look for glasses that sit high on your nose. This will lengthen your face. It's all about creating balance to your face. So that means avoid overly boxy narrow frames. If you have a narrow forehead and jawline, just like the precious stone, you're a diamond. You can play up your delicate features with fun cat eye and oval shapes. Frames that sweep up will help emphasize your cheekbones. Try and avoid boxy straight across frames that might accentuate the width of your cheeks. Keep it delicate and sassy. If your face is longer than wide, you have an oblong face shape, similar to the gorgeous Liv Tyler. And that means you want to try oversized glasses, especially the ones that are wider than your face. You want to look for shapes that are rounder with more depth. And try to avoid frames that are too small or short. Now, let's say you have a strong jaw, but your face is longer than it is wide. That means you have a rectangle face shape. Play against your facial contours. Similar to the square face shape, try curvy and oval glasses. But unlike the square face shape, the wider the glasses, the more flattering. Contrast your bold features by avoiding rectangle shapes. If you have a broad forehead and cheekbones with a narrow chin, my dear, soft and delicate like the shape, you are the heart. Rimless frames will look amazing on you. Look for thin, light metal, or clear plastic frames. Avoid overly embellished or heavy glasses because it might overwhelm your face. Your frames should soften your strong features, not accentuate it. Last but not least, if your forehead, jaw, and chin are all proportionate, you have an oval face shape. And that means you can pull off almost any frame shape. So have fun and experiment. Pretty much all frames will suit you. Actually, maybe not all. A simple rule to keep in mind is the more angular your features, the rounder the glasses should be. The more rounder your features, obviously, the more angular the frame should be. With your new glasses, you'll feel and see like a new person. Depending on lighting, my frames can cast a shadow under my eyes, so concealing is crucial for me. Using a heavy coverage concealer will help brighten up your eyes. I'm using here my own concealer that I made called The Great Cover Up, and this will pretty much cover up my sleep deprived eyes. Now, I don't know if this happens to you, but whenever I wear too much mascara, my lashes get stuck to the lenses. Instead, I line my eyes. First, I brighten my waterline with a peach or rose gold color. If you want your eyes to look more fresh, try this look. And because I'm not wearing mascara, I can be a little more adventurous with my eyeliner. Strange as it sounds, you can get away with heavier eyeliner looks when you're wearing glasses than if you weren't. Think of your glasses like a picture frame. The bigger the picture, the better you'll see it. For my brows, I like to reshape them so that they contour with the frame shape. If my glasses are more boxy, they'll be a bit more straight and angular. If my frames are round, I'll make sure my brows are fuller and softer. And lastly, I like to contour my nose so that I bring more definition to my face thus drawing attention back to my eyes. You don't really need much. A little bit of contouring here and there can really change up your look. 
And if you want a foolproof eyeshadow palette, stick with earth tone colors like taupe, soft browns, and nude colors. Bright loud colors are fun to experiment with. And remember, the louder your eye makeup, the cooler it'll look inside your frames. Alright cutie, have fun experimenting with different frames and eye makeup. You'll never know how awesome it looks until you try it. It's got something to say. Good luck! Don't forget to check out my makeup line, mcosmetics.com. And my blog, michellefawn.com.